Hello YouTube, we are back for another upload in relation to Sauce Dog Comics, X-Men number one. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It would greatly be appreciated. Okay, so what did we do? Last time we actually leaf casted the second wrap, or yes, the second wrap from the front. And now what we want to do is we want to deal with the first wrap of the book. So here you go. This is the first wrap. Now there's not much that has to be done with the leaf casting. We have to fill in right here where the staple holes are that is missing paper. Also, we have this corner over here in the back page. Now, I think and I decided that I am going to leaf cast it from the reverse. I'm not going to do the splash page. I'm going to do the reverse. I think that will be stronger for the conservation of the book. So I want to flip it around. Now, I also have the second wrap in my book binding press, so we're not going to be able to see it right now because it's still wet. I did the leaf casting yesterday. I want to keep it in there. It looks really nice. One issue that I have is the pulp I used for the second wrap is a little off. It's not matching up to my liking for this this wrap here. So what I wanna do is I wanna change it up. And if you recall, I believe this first wrap is from a different book. Look at this, isn't this funny? Look at Dr. Um, Professor X. They're putting a blanket on him. They really made him like an old guy in this first book. It's actually pretty funny. And then also what's funny is that Iceman has boots. That's pretty funny as well. Okay, so enough Jerry the Jitterbug jabbering. So what I have is a different pulp. One of my pulps that I have in my refrigerator. We're going to use that. And I think that will do a better color match than what we're dealing with now. So I want to switch it up and... I'm gonna blend the old pulp, pulp up and we're gonna use that. But when I'm talking, I left the second wrap out and I wanna put that back in my book binding press. So give me a second. Squeak, 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 squeak. You hear that? That is the book binding press. I need to restore it and that will be in the future. So how are we gonna do this? We're gonna take the pulp that I have, and I'm gonna put it in my blender and I'm gonna give it a little stir, okay? And we're gonna get that moving around, moving and shaking and making it nice. And it's not that much, so I'm pretty happy with the amount that is in the container. I think it will be good to do what we need to take care of. So let me stir it up and cover your ears. Okay, that's stirred up enough, and I think we're going to have enough. My luck, we won't, but I think we will. Let me take this out, the first wrap. Let me take out a fresh piece of Holly Tex that I put in there. I want to take that out because they don't get much uses, the Holly Tex and the Rame when you do the leaf casting because they start to break apart a little bit and it's not as smooth as I would like in doing it. So let's pour this pulp into the squeeze bottle. And again, hopefully this will be enough and it definitely will. It's almost a whole squeeze bottle. In fact, I'm gonna probably get rid of that because I'm not gonna use it again after this. So let's close up the squeeze bottle. Let's clean it up. 
because we like to be clean here on Jerry the Jitterbug's channel. We don't like to be messy because clean is the way to go. Okay, so we're done with that. Now, what do we want to do? What I want to do is I want to take the piece of Holly text down and I'm going to do something a little bit different also to spice it up. So here's the Holly text. Let's put the wrap down and we're going to wet it. This is nice and flat, this wrap. So I don't think I have to do it with the suction on, okay? Like I did with the other wrap because it was a little wrinkly, a little more wrinkly than I would have liked. So let's give it a wetting. Let's wet it down nicely. Make sure the water saturates the book or, you know, the page. Everyone knows what I'm talking about. It's not the book, it's the page. Let's let the water penetrate into it. Nice, 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 nice. And like I said, we're gonna do something a little different and I'll show you right now what we're going to do. So, I have issues sometimes with the pulp migrating into places that I do not want it to go. I clean it up and it works out well when I clean it up after it dries a little bit. I have different methods for doing it, using a brush with water and things of that nature. But what I want to do is I want to try to make my plastic sheets to adhere to the area a little bit better like this so the pulp doesn't get underneath it. So how are we gonna do that, Mr. Jitterbug? Well, I'm gonna put the, matter of fact, let's do it this, no, I'm gonna do it this way. I'm gonna take a piece of craft foam, just like this, we're gonna cover the wrap. It's okay, it will come up. Then what I wanna do is I wanna get a brush just like this, and then we have my methyl <clears throat> cellulose. And then all I wanna do is I wanna paint the brush with a little methyl cellulose, and I wanna go down the edge of the plastic that I use, okay? Just like this, not that much. Just give it a little coating. And the reason why I'm gonna do that is I want to make sure that this sticks down and it stays down on the wrap. And once the water starts flowing with the leaf casting, this will come up one, two, three. It's not like it's gonna stick onto it. There'll be no problem. So let's take the craft foam down. Let's take my sheet with the methyl cellulose and let's put it down just like this just where I want to keep the sheet nice so it doesn't cause an issue with pulp and you might say well that's a good idea and I'm going to say yeah it's a good idea and it will give a little strength also to the spine when the methyl cellulose starts to absorb into the spine. So let's do this side now, just a little methyl cellulose, paint it, very good, right there, that's enough. We don't have to go crazy, we're not local, loco in this channel. So let's take this off now, and let's make it where I know this is the side we have to put down, and slowly take the craft foam off, okay? And then I'm gonna put the piece of film right where I want it, and then hopefully one, two, three, it blocks any issue with the pulp migrating into the graphics, which is not a big thing, but I don't feel like cleaning it. I wanna to try to cut some steps because one thing I have to say with this book was I think it was very, efficient the way I did the conservation. It worked out quickly, it worked out well, and I'm very excited because after this upload, we're gonna clean up all the interior wraps, 
and we're gonna make sure they're all nice and conserved. And then what I'm going to do is we're gonna get ready for the cover and that's gonna be the important aspect of this whole process, the cover. So what we're gonna do now, guys, is I'm gonna put on the vacuum, watch it suck down, and then I'm gonna make sure that these are nice in position and we're gonna just leaf cast the spine. So hang out and here we go. Okay guys, so this pulp is a little thicker than I would want it, but it's not a big deal because we're going to fix it. That's why you see what I'm doing now. I'm mechanically spreading the pulp and making it a little flatter for my liking. And it will be fine once we press it and we do what we have to do to it it will be fine. But sometimes the paper that I use is a little thicker at times and this was a thick batch. But again, like I said, this is gonna be fine. It's gonna look dynamite when I'm done. Dynamite! Who used to say that? Uh, what was his name again? Dynamite! I'm just dating myself. So right here, I'm getting it nice and flat, just mechanically with a brush. I'm gonna put the suction on. Suction. 
schön, sorgt schön. Okay guys, I'm happy. See, once you do a little isolated area of leaf casting, it's not a big thing to do. If I did this for a profession, I really can bang these books out if I wanted to. And I can really do a lot of books during the day. And maybe when I retire from doing legal work, I'll do this for money. Because I think I have a proven record of success in conserving books. Pretty much every book I tried to conserve, I got a conserve grade. It may have took one or two times, but I did get a conserve grade. So my leaf casting passes muster with CGC. They do deem it as professional. And that's a nice thing, right? I... When I do it, it is professional because just because you leaf cast, it doesn't mean that it's going to be a professional job. Does that make sense? Of course it does. And it's very simple. I know I say this a lot, but here is the CGC grades or CGC standard for conservation. Conservation repairs are performed with the intent of preserving the structural or chemical integrity of the comic book using professional, see that's the key thing, techniques and materials. It excludes aesthetic repairs such as color touch and piece fill. All conserved grades must satisfy the CGC quality scale of A and the quantity scale of 1. So I, every time I've done it, minus a few times where I had to resubmit, I basically achieved the CGC standard. So I guess I am a semi-professional, minus the few times I got a restored grade and I had to resubmit it, or other people had to resubmit it to get a conserved grade from the restored grade. But you know what? Like I said, I have a good track record, and I know there is a lot of cleaning and pressing channels out there, and I really watch a lot of them. They're good, but I'm a c conservationist. That's my main thing that I like to do is to conserve the books. And there are a few conservation channels out there. They're really good. I watch them. But I have yet seen anyone leaf cast a comic book. I'm sure it's going to happen. I'm sure it's coming down the pike with channels that are going to start to leaf cast perhaps and that's great i hope they watch my videos and they study them to learn how to do it i know that i have one of my subscribers and followers peter alici he always comments and he leaf casts books and he uses the methods that i showed online and it really is a nice thing to know that people are using my methods that i developed for me, I didn't develop leaf casting, but that I developed the way I can do it in my basement, and they're doing it. So that's a great thing. So I'm going to put on the suction one more time, and I just want to move away some of the pulp from the graphics. <laughs>
Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to put the second piece of Holitex on top. We're going to do the rolling method. I roll it like a, uh, you know what you roll, uh, you roll a cigarette, I guess, if you smoke cigarettes, or you roll paint on a paint roller. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to roll up on the side here. I have my Holitex. I'm rolling it like a big cylinder. Okay. And then we're going to do it where we put it on top. And you might be saying that looks a little thick, the pulp. Um, it will definitely suck down once I start massaging it in with the spoon. And once it dries, this stuff is always like this and it will adhere. So I just see one little piece right here that I want to move in. And it's inevitable that once I put this on the second piece and it gets pressed down, what happens is the pulp will flatten out a little bit. And I may have some parts that do go on to the graphics, but I tried to do it clean and hopefully there won't be a lot that goes on the graphics. So we're going to do one more suction and I'm going to use the spoon and gently massage the pulp into the areas that we leaf casted. And then I put my paper towel in and we let that do its job. So let's do it one more time. Watch it get sucked in. Okay, ladies and gents, don't forget, hit the like button, share, and subscribe. Thank you very much. It would be greatly appreciated. So, what are we doing now? What we're going to do now, and it's amazing because, believe it or not, the I could feel the pulp just really sucking in and adhering to the 
wrap. So I think it's gonna it's gonna be a very good job once it dries up. I don't like that I'm not covering this section. There's no way I can take this off now. Should we be crazy and see if I can? Wow, I can. So I'm wrong. And you know what we'll do? When we're here, let's clean it up as well. Okay, let's do a little extra and clean up. And look, see how that's how you clean it up. I can do it when it's wet. You just take your time. And then what I do is I take a paper towel and we take it off and we put it on the paper towel. And this will save me a lot of time when it dries because it takes a, a lot more labor to take off the pulp when it when it's sort of on a on a semi dry state so this is a good thing that i'm doing it now just like this and remember if it doesn't match up perfectly i'm okay with it because you have to understand that this is going to be covered with the wrap before it okay so I'm okay with it not being a perfect straight line. I'd rather take the pulp off like this and to clean the graphics off. And you'll see, I do have pieces of pulp that you're like, okay, Jerry, you better be a little neater because you're not picking it all up. But I'll show you how we're gonna pick it up in a second once I'm done pushing it off of the graphics. We'll, we'll clean all of that up, no problem. Easy peasy, as I like to say. And look at all of this coming off nicely. And I'm doing exactly what I wanna be doing, taking it off of the graphics, because you don't want that on. And this is the way that I do it at times. Sometimes I do it when it's wet. Sometimes I do it when it's dry. And I don't show this all the time. I don't show this. I don't show this process when I am leaf casting all the time. Sometimes this is behind the scenes. And in fact, what I do sometimes is I'll take some water and we'll wet the brush as well, just to give it a little wetness because then the pulp comes off that much easier. You see that once you wet it up a little bit. And that's why guys, this is conservation and not restoration. Because if I wanted to, I can take this whole strip off just by soaking or spraying it with my spray or the page and then guess what it all comes off and you have the original book without any things put on it paper pulp or things of that nature and that's why cgc considers it conservation and not restoration we're not putting on any type of color touch or anything of that nature we're putting on things that just come off it comes off with water and that's why i know um what is it it's dragon ink comics he's a nice guy jamie or he's transitioning i believe i i, I don't want to say anything i really like him um so I, I'm, I don't want to say anything to offend him and believe me, I'm or her, or I'm not good with pronouns and things like that. And I, I should just not discuss it. But Dragon Ink, let's just say that Dragon Ink did a upload where he trolled different channels in the community. And he actually trolled my channel and he made funny uh, Dragon Ink made funny jokes about the 
channel that he was talking about, uh, that Dragon Inc. was talking about. And for my channel, Dragon Inc. said that conservation is just restoration. And he, he and Dragon Inc. said a funny thing about the label on the CGC grade. And I thought it was funny that he, that Dragon Inc. considered it restoration, but it's not restoration because, again, restoration is very difficult to remove versus conservation. And as you can see, just like this, I can remove what I put on by simply using water. I hope I'm not babbling too much, but I wanna show how I do the process. And what am I gonna do, play music? So what I like to do is take the brush then, right? And we try to brush off all of the pulp that I just took off, okay? And then if I don't get it all off, that's fine. Because what we can do is we can work on the pieces that I didn't get off at a later date. When it dries up a little bit, when I take this and I put it on the plastic. So I think we're doing a good job. I'm liking what I'm seeing. And then you have to understand, once this bad boy goes into the book binding press it is a game changer because this will be compressed and it will just smush into the paper fibers of the wrap and it will become one so i'm okay with this i think it's pretty good and in fact what i want to do is i just want to give it a little water and in fact what I'll do is I'm going to spray it. So I'm gonna put the suction on and, and I'm gonna give it a little spray because I want it to compress a little bit. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. So let's put these back on. You know, we're doing a top quality job for Sauce Dog Comics. He did does comment on Instagram. He, he told me today that I was doing a good job with the uploads. And to me, good is okay, Sauce Dog. Good is like a B in a grade. I, I rarely use that word good because I tend not to like telling people that they're good because it's basically average. But Maybe in Canada, that's what they do. They use the word good where it should be a different word. So let's put this on. Okay. So that was exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to reactivate the pulp a little bit. And then I am going to put back the top piece of Rame or Holly Tex. I must have lost about 50% of my viewers. How many times can you watch a page get leaf casted? I don't know. So let's see. Let's put this back on. Let's roll it. Boop, boom. See those sound effects I have? Very nice. And then I'm gonna put back my pieces for the, and I reason why I put these pieces, guys, is to make more suction, okay? Because these gaps prevent the suction from happening with the shop vac. And then we're gonna put this on one more time. We're gonna suck it, and then we're going to...
Okay, guys, the reason why I did that is because I pulled some of the pulp away by using the brush. So I wanted to reactivate the pulp with a little water so it just sets nicely flat and fills in some of the gaps that I took away. Okay, now let's take this and let's put this wrap in our shelving unit. Let me again open up the camera a little bit so we can see how we do this. And I'm going to use two lines of paper towels. And the reason why I wanna use two is because I did just wet the wrap. So I wanna absorb the water out with the paper towels a little bit more than normal. Let's put this bad boy down just like that. See that? Nice and easy, right? And then let's do it this way so everyone can see me do this. Okay, so I'm going to put this down just like this. And then we're going to cover two on top. And that's why I have to buy stock in Bounty. I'll put another one. Okay just like this. Then what I'm gonna do is I'll put the top shelf on and then I'm gonna take this bad boy and I'm gonna put this in the book binding press. And that's it for this upload, guys. Next upload, we'll have all the pages done and we'll be able to see how we're going to put it together. And then we're gonna start working on the cover. So thank you. Stay tuned, give a sub, and I'll see you soon.